To improve your posture, strengthen the back line of your body. Start with your hands in by your shoulders, elbows squeezing in like a cricket, tops of the feet on the ground. Chin is tucking in. You breathe in deeply so that your chest lifts up off the ground and you are activating the little muscles around your spine, releasing down. So this is activating the core muscles of the back, breathing in deeply, Try not to use your hands to push, just for stability. Breathing in and breathing out. Tops of the feet are pressing into the ground. Knees are slightly active, but you're not squeezing your bum. Good. Take the hands underneath the forehead and then just squeeze your left glute. Try to just isolate left glute so foot comes off the ground, dropping it. Same thing on the other side, and then dropping it. Draw your tummy button slightly up off the ground to keep the core muscles switching on. Nice bit of stability for the lower back. So we're just activating the glutes. If that feels comfortable, then try taking the feet off the ground and just kicking one foot and then the other by activating the gluteal muscles, those bum muscles. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. If you're finding one side really doesn't activate, uh, activate there's a bit of atrophy there, just focusing on that one side, breathing out to activate. You can even take your hand on the glute to just to sort of encourage it to squeeze into your hand. Good. You can also try bending your knee and then squeezing your glute so your knee comes up off the ground and then just doing some little kicks here. So you squeeze the glute in order to push your heel up towards the ceiling. The knee stays off the ground. Little isolated pulses here. Try that on the other side. Squeeze the glute to lift the knee off the ground and then little pulses just isolating that right glute now. Tummy button towards the spine to stabilize your lower back. Beautiful, now roll the shoulders up towards your ears and then slide them downwards so you can feel the muscles between your shoulders activating, fingers towards your toes, tummy up off the ground, and then squeeze and lift the whole back line of the body. This is called Shalabhasana, Lotus Pose. You're stretching the crown of the head forward, you're pulling your fingertips and your toes backwards, really nice and activate. And activated, lifting up a little bit higher, and then go, oh, turn the toes in, the heels out, and just rock the pelvis from side to side. I'll try that one on the other side now. So rolling the shoulders up, sliding them down, tummy button off the ground, squeezing and lifting. Keep rocking forward with the crown of the head, squeezing and stretching back with the fingers and toes. Activate, activate, activate. And then turn the head to the other side and go, ah, and rock in the pelvis. Very nice. Lovely. Coming up into Cobra, uh, sorry, Sphinx pose. So forearms into the mat, pulling the mat towards you. Chest is drawing forward, shoulders are drawing back. A little bit of activation through the legs again. So just pressing the tops of the feet into the ground. Nice and wide with the forearms and then just dropping one shoulder Looking over the other shoulder, do this gently, rinsing out the upper body, up and over, rinse, rinse, and rinse, and then rest, toes in, heels out, lots of space across the sacrum area here, forehead resting on hands, and then taking some nice soft releasing breaths where your belly is nice and relaxed, and maybe just wobbling your hips from side to side. Ah. <sighs> 